This place just doesn't make any sense. Well, here I am, buddy, the sense maker. What have you got for me this time? 400,000 tons of rock excavated and moved out of here to leave behind the craziest temple ever in human history. It is a pretty crazy temple, I agree. The, the 400,000 figures, a little bit iffy. It, no formal measurements have ever been taken, but sure, I get you, big pile of rock, yeah. Oh, well, I'm sure there's a big deposit of rock somewhere. There's no rock to be found anywhere. No excavated rock has ever been discovered. <laughs> no, I wouldn't think that it has. Do you think that if they had had a big pile of however many tons of rock laying around that they wouldn't just use it for something else? They built other things. Even is your point here supposed to be like, oh, we never found the rock. He's like, sure, but they obviously excavated the rock. There's no cliff anymore. It's a temple now. This is also just one thing of like a huge network of caves called the Allura Caves. This place literally rewrites history and archaeology as we know it. Kailasa Temple. It's in Cave 16 of the Alara Cave Complex in central India. It was built about 1,200 years ago under the reign of King Krishna I. The interesting things about this temple is that it was actually carved from the top down rather than the side in. I know you might find history boring, but that's just because you've been taught wrong and you've been taught boring shit. You know what, Liam? I agree with you. History is often taught in a boring way, and it's a real shame. But you don't need to make up stories to make it interesting. It's interesting all on its own. Now, it's a chisel basalt rock. You need a chisel strength six to seven times stronger than basalt itself. No idea where you got that number from, but it's just wrong. You flashed the Mohs hardness scale on screen there for a second, so I think you're confusing hardness for toughness. Hardness is a material's ability to resist being scratched, as toughness is its ability to resist shock. So a very tough material will be more resistant to fracturing. These properties often have an inverse relationship with each other, where materials that are very hard are also very brittle and thus have low fracture toughness. Basalt, for example, which Kailasa Temple is carved from, is very hard, a six on the Mohs scale, but it's also very brittle and only has a fracture toughness of between one and three. Compare that with something like iron, which has a fracture toughness of 25, even as high as 60. Which only really puts two chisels in the category of being able to be used for this tungsten carbide chisels, which funnily enough weren't invented until the 1800s, diamond-tipped chisels, which also weren't really created and widely used until the 1900s. So, how was this place built? I'm going to bet on the iron chisels, which would have had no problem fracturing the very brittle basalt. Liam here has actually made a full 45-minute video on Kailasa Temple, so if you'd like to see me address the comments there in full, let me know, I guess.